I did talk about the, the founding fathers is, you know, and I live in the state of South Dakota, right? And right. I grew up there. Yeah. And I see Mount Rushmore, mm -hmm. you know, the four founding fathers, one of them anyway. Right. Yep. Jefferson, Washington, Lincoln, and uh, what's the other one? Roosevelt, right. modern day founding fathers. Right. Well, each of them we can name, we teach our children. It's like, okay, George Washington, he's the village burner. He ordered his army, the Continental Congress army, to, the Continental Army to go and kill every Indian that is, has a village in along, up and along the Missouri, or um, the uh, Mohawk River, mm -hmm. and in the state of New York, in this area, any right. native. Mm -hmm. And you put a bounty out on them, and you give them, you know, the males, the bigger bounty, and if you get them, bring the skins here. And we go on and on and on. Jefferson also called, hunt them down like the wolf. He excluded native people as he was writing, uh, stealing the words from the Iroquois people. Teddy Roosevelt nationalized over 52 million acres to make national parks, and he took those away from reservations in the early part of the 19, uh, 1900s. Mm -hmm. um, who was left? Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation the same day he signed the, the, this country's largest mass execution of 38 Dakota men for supposedly stealing a cow that wandered onto their they're given reservation boundaries. And then the Dakota said, oh, we're sorry. We didn't know. It didn't have a brand, and we thought it was on our own. We were hungry. We were starving at the time. Mm -hmm. So the, the native people gathered about 40 other skinny cattle as well mm -hmm. and gave it to the one farmer. That one farmer wanted justice. He says, I want the man. I don't want the cows. Mm -hmm. So all of them said, I am guilty. So the army came down, and that's when that sort of war came along. And in the end, over 500 were indicted. So Lincoln signed, well, let's only hang 38 of them. So this, they all hung at the same time in Mankato, Minnesota. So these are, you know, the ideas that people are, are holding up as, well, forget about what we did to the Indians or the Native people. Mm -hmm. Let's hold what this freedom and caring for loving our, our fellow men is based upon. Mm -hmm. But let's not talk about the tree roots people. Let's talk about what we can change as far as gr grassroots movements is concerned. We're not concerned about having the graveyard still under the, the U.S. Capitol building with the Lene Lapi Bones the graveyard still on that, that hill of where the U.S. Capitol building. Let's not talk about that. Mm -hmm. This so was a burial mound it's, sacred it's to, the, there. to the Indians. It's still there. It's proven. It's still there. Mm -hmm. So people want proof. Anything I say can be t picked up in a book. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law the leader of reform in legal education and the leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.